Amala is a counting device. It's used to count the number of mantra repetitions completed during a period of meditation. One repetition per bead. Amala also serves as a physical cue for reciting a mantra. As fingers slide from bead to bead, the mala helps to sustain the mantra even when other thoughts pass through the mind. Most malas have 108 beads. In addition, there's one extra bead, the tasseled miru bead, it's called. This additional bead marks the beginning and the end of each cycle. Even though there's 108 beads per mala, only 100 beads are credited for the trip around. This makes counting a little bit easier, so when you do seven malas, that indicates that you've completed 700 repetitions. It also accounts for the fact that sometimes the mind wanders a bit during meditation. To use a mala, begin by holding the mala suspended from the ring finger. As you repeat the mantra, draw the mala one bead at a time towards you with your thumb. By convention, after completing a circuit around the entire mala, you do not cross the miru bead. Instead, reposition the mala and return in the other direction. It can be a bit of a trick to negotiate this change. To accomplish this, hold the last bead with your thumb and third finger, slide the ring finger out, and reverse the direction of the mala. The last bead now becomes the first, and japa begins again. Malas can be made of many different materials. Some are made of crystal and gems, or sandalwood, red and white. But the most widely used and versatile malas are made from rudraksha seeds. Rudraksha means tears of Shiva and symbolizes limitless compassion. Good malas have knots between each bead. This prevents the beads from sliding into one another, abrading the string, and separating as the string stretches with wear. It's important to remember that the material and construction of the mala is not as important as the sincerity with which you bring the mantra to mind. The point is to enlist the mala in the service of your practice. Using a mala enables you to track your progress, and it also helps you to keep focused on your mantra during meditation. When the mind wanders, your mala will be there, gently guiding your attention back to the sound of the mantra.